Hi everybody, Tiger Protector here and I got more tips and strategies for you today in Toontown Rewritten. What I want to talk to you about today is what we should do next now that we've done some early stage things with our new tune. Now we need to look at our map just to remember that we cleared it and a video that I just did shows you why and how you want to do that and in a strategic way of doing it. Check that video out, it's really helpful. What I want to also do while we're looking at this is I want to look at our task and we've got this flippy task. Before we do that, I want to do a couple of things that I think are really important. They take time, so I want to get you started on these and they can also really help you in the way of laugh points. Let's talk about fishing. Number one, we automatically start with a fishing pole. You're going to want to have beans for this, so if you don't have them, go ahead and get on the trolley and get some because you'll need those for bait. But if you do have those, go ahead and get on one of the docks here. What it says is you click and drag from the cast button, that red button down below that says cast, and this is the farther you drag, the uh, stronger your cast will be. You have to get used to this at first because what'll happen is the first time you cast you may throw it way too far you may throw it too short it's just an adjustment so just get used to it and be careful because in the beginning it's okay it's only one bean a cast but as you get higher up on your fishing poles it'll take a few more beans than one to do it so now you can see we got a, a new species we got a pb and j fish and that's great and this is fish bingo so there's two things going on here fish bingo makes it fun because you can actually earn extra beans while we're fishing and getting these new fish everything's going to be new to us for the most part so you're going to see new species popping up quite a bit if we really do good here we might even get 10 new species it's possible but unlikely the first round but we'll get some of those and every 10 fish you're going to get a laugh boost so there's a total of 70 fish available and you know dividing that by 10 that's seven laugh boosts. there's another new species a hot air balloon fish sometimes i'll just leave the line in the water if i didn't get something right away Another one, a clownfish. So we're doing really well here on getting new species. You can see I've done this before, so I have a pretty good judgment on how to throw the line. If you're having a little trouble at first, just get used to it. It's okay. Boy, there's another one. And another species of clownfish. I'm really hoping we get enough to get a laugh boost, but we'll see here. Brian. Wow, another peanut butter and jelly jellyfish oh, we got a boot on the bingo a boot means you can actually pick anything so I usually pick one of these rare fish that are hard to get like the holy mackerel here or a piano fish because those are big fish you're not usually gonna catch on this first pole you're most likely gonna catch us on a stronger pole they make them out of different things. Right now we got a twig. Each time you cast and catch something, it'll give you on the fish bingo board an opportunity to pick the fish unless it's one we already have caught and see it doesn't flash. So there's nothing to choose right now on that. Now if we throw it again and get a different one we haven't caught yet, another new species, the king crab, then it lets us pick that on the fish bingo board. So we're getting two things done at the same time. Fishing for new species and getting the chance to win extra jelly beans here and having fun with fish bingo at the same time. So that's really good. All right, so up oh, that cast was short. So I need to throw it a little further here. Right at the fish there. And I got a boot, but that also means I can pick another one we haven't gotten yet here's a new species again a puppy dog fish and a new record in 14 seconds it's saying 
a new game will come on. So I'm just gonna let my line sit here in the water. And there's another one. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a laugh boost out of this. I don't know exactly how many we caught, but I'm sure it's over 10 species. So this is great. Good start. That's our last fish we can catch. You can find out by trying to cast again. Then it says, you don't have any more jelly beans for bait. Ride the trolley or sell your fish. We're going to sell these fish now that we caught them. And so what you do is you look for the fisherman. In this case, it's Fisherman Freddy over here. And when we go up to him and talk to him, he's going to allow us to sell these to him. So we have 19 fish in our bucket worth a total of 145 beans. And he's asking, do you want to sell them all? And we're going to say yes. And then he's going to say, you know what? You collected 11 species out of 70. That deserves a trophy and a laugh boost. So now our laugh went from 16 to 17. We can look in the book, we can hold 40. So the remainder of what we got actually goes into your bank at your estate. We are going to look here and go to fish. And on fishing, what you can see is the ones we've caught. So if you look at, we've got three out of five different types of balloon fish, okay? We caught one of the catfish and there's still four more species we can catch. We got three out of four here on the clownfish. So we're doing really well. We got one of the puppy dog fish. And then there's a king crab we caught. And there's three types here. Now some of these are blank. We haven't gotten to these. Some of these require a stronger pole. Some of them will catch in different ponds all around Toontown Rewritten. The great thing is we did get that laugh boost. Peanut butter and jellyfish, we got two out of five. It's a great start to fishing. There's something else I want to talk to you about. I'd like to go to the map and we're going to go home. And these are really great things to do right here early because now we got the fishing started, which does take a while to get all 70 species and buy all the different poles that are required to do that at home in the catalog from Clarabelle. And then what we're going to do is go home we're gonna to go to our bank and look and see how many jelly beans we actually have. So you can do this. You can transfer beans. If you had only like 20 beans here and you're allowed to hold 40, you can transfer 20 into your container from your bank if you wanna fill that up. So that's another way you can fill your bank. The trolley, fishing, now we know, and transferring from your bank. So those are three ways to get beans back into your possession so that's how many you're carrying around so we can just say okay here so let's get on our phone and talk to clarabelle so right here in the beginning of your catalog what you're going to see is a gardening kit up here we don't have this yet and it takes 50 beans to buy it well that's why i was wanting you to be prepared if you weren't by going on the trolley to get those beans so you could use them as bait for fishing and we could come here and purchase the gardening kit because that's another thing that's great but definitely takes a while to accomplish remember you can get seven laugh boosts from doing fishing you can also get four laugh boosts from doing gardening so you can earn a total of 11 extra laugh points just between fishing and gardening that are on top of all the laugh points you can earn through doing tasks. This is great to do, but it does take time. So this is why I'm highly recommending you start early on this. So let's go ahead and buy the gardening kit. Congratulations, your purchase will be delivered to you soon, it said. So we have to wait a tiny bit, but we can go ahead and go outside. And oh, it already came. So let's go up to our mailbox and we just got our gardening kit. So by the time we got outside, we had it. So what, what it's showing you here is that you can plant flowers and trees and you can harvest powerful gags. We'll talk about how to do that. You can also put statues out. Also, it's saying they're kind of finicky, the flowers. So they require 
a certain recipe of jelly beans to be able to grow them. I'm going to show you how to find those. And then when you put them in the wheelbarrow, that's how you sell them. And that helps you work toward those seven laugh boosts I was telling you about. But also, you'll get jelly beans from selling those as well. When you plant trees, they're going to be for a certain type of gag. And when you grow those, those are going to become organic. And they'll be stronger than just having a standard gag directly from the gag shop. I'm going to show you how to plant these and water these right now, like it's trying to tell you here in the book. It's also telling you about statues here, and that you get those from Clarabelle's catalog. And as you increase your gardening skill, you're going to be able to unlock even more extravagant statues. These are doodles that belong to my other tunes, by the way. This is Peanut, Snowberry, and Tiger. And in another video, I'm going to talk to you all about doodles and show you where and how to buy those. But for right now, we're gonna focus on gardening. And as you come over to these dirt mounds over here on the grass, these ones are for the trees that you can plant. And the ones over here in the planter boxes are for the flowers. So we're gonna start with flowers and not trees right now. The reason being is right here in the beginning of gardening and I just wanted you to get it going because it does take time and trees you have to be very selective and you also have to decide what gags you're gonna make organic we have time to choose that so we don't need to do those right now and the flowers are gonna be where you get your laugh points from and extra beans as you sell those flowers. The reason for planting the trees is for organic gags to make stronger gags so you can fight with them in battles and get a higher level of damage when you use those against the cogs. So let's focus on the flowers for right now. What you're gonna do here is run up to your first planter and it says plant a flower. And when you click on that, it's gonna show you that there's a number of beans to choose from. And right now we have one of the squares that's highlighted, which means we are on a level one flower and we have to pick certain ones for it to actually work. If we pick a silver bean here and try to plant it, it said, oh, that combination didn't work. So how do we learn which combinations do work? Well, there's a great website called Tune HQ that you need to go to. And that is going to have a great gardening guide on it. It's really going to help us figure out which combinations of beans to use. What you want to do is go to TuneHQ.org. And when you get there, this is exactly what it's going to look like. What you need to do first, if it's an existing account you're playing on, go on to the Tune image, click on it, and select the correct tune of the one you're actually playing on. If you've never been here before, what you need to do is go to settings and then create an account using your email and then click on link Toontown rewritten. And what it'll do is it'll sync your tunes into the Tune HQ. And there's a reason you want to do that. Why you want to do it is that when you're in that particular tune and you click on more, you're gonna see gardening here. That's what we're working on currently. You can see there's nothing checked, no flowers. We haven't even started gardening until right now. And as we do this and we pick the flowers that have bloomed so we can get our jelly beans and laugh and everything, we're gonna be checking off the boxes on here so we know what we've accomplished. This is a great tool to use. And there's many more things about this site that we'll talk about in other videos. But right now I'm focusing on gardening. And you can see up here fishing. Fishing really is amazing as well because what it'll do is it'll show you all the fish species, the rods that you can catch them with, and how rare those fish are. So you wanna look at that as well. But right now, let's go back to more and gardening because that's what we're doing. We can see the combinations of jelly beans for each level of flower here. This is really helpful. So this is why you wanna do this. You can see that we're on one jelly bean flowers right now. So you wanna use these particular five beans. There's yellow, pink, 
cyan, green, and orange. And that's all we need to remember for right now. And we can plant using those five colors. And then we can just simply plant yellow as one of our flowers. And we need to water this. So you're gonna water it two times at least until it says full. This is gonna take more because we just started. So I believe it's four or five times, let's see, right in the beginning. And we're getting a skill point for every single time we water right now. So now this is gonna show up in our book and I'm gonna show you where once we've done this. And there's the fifth time, I believe. Now the first time through planting every time you get on a new level of flower, I highly recommend you plant every single one of the five species that are available of flower in that level of jelly bean. Now it says full on the watering, right? So we know now that we can move on to the next flower. I'll probably plant each flower type of the five that are one bean flowers twice to make the 10. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use yellow again. This is just how I do it, but it's really helpful because you want to make sure you get that full array of flowers that are in that first one bean jelly bean category all done at least once through the first time. And then if you want to just pick one of those going forward, it's easier to remember one combination of beans than it is five. So at first it's kind of simple because it's one bean. But as you go through, they get more and more beans required in the recipes. If you follow my method, you'll find it being a real time saver for you and it'll make sure that you have all the flowers of each category taken care of by doing them in that first round each time. That one's full, so now we're gonna pick the next color. We're gonna go ahead and go to pink. That was one of them we could use. I'm gonna pick one of the other colors after this. So we're going to now pick green. That was another color. Now we've got yellow, pink, and green planted. Now that that one's full, let's move on to the next one. So let's go ahead and use orange here. You'll find that the number of times you have to water goes down a little bit as your skill increases in watering. Now we're going to plant the cyan and what we're going to do since we have two spots here like we did in the front with the yellow we're going to plant two cyan flowers here on these two spots. Great now that that's full we can move on to the next flower. Great now that this was full I'm going to move on to the next planter and we're going to repeat with these the ones we did on the other side of the house. We had pink. Another one was green. And finally, we had orange. Got all 10 flowers planted, and we got five out of our 10 new species. So how do I see those? What we're gonna do is open the book, and now we have a shovel since we started gardening. We didn't have this before. You click on the shovel, and there's your basket. It shows you how many you've picked. We haven't picked any flowers yet. So we're showing zero out of zero, okay? The 
album is going to show us which flowers we've grown as we pick those once they're actually bloomed. They will not do any good to pick a flower now. So what if I wanted to pick a flower now? Does that give me any credit? Well, let's find out. So if I go up to the planter and I hit remove, then what it says is school daisies is not blooming. Are you sure you want to remove it? Because it will not go in your basket and you won't get any skill for it. So no, we don't want to do that. You have to wait till these actually bloom and then when we pick them, then we'll get skill for digging them up and when we sell them, we'll get bean value as well. Plus, they'll start adding up toward that 10 that we need to get our first laugh boost from gardening. So where do you go to sell these when you're ready to do that? Well, you need to go to a special area on your estate over here where there is a big dirt area. Now watch out, there's water in between. And here you can see that my other tune has grown trees. They're gag trees of all sorts of throw gags. And he can actually either go to the gag store and buy gags or he can actually come here and pick gags to replace the ones he used in a battle. But just remember that if you do pick those, they're going to be off the tree for now until they regrow again. And so if you came back the same day to get more, they're not going to be there. Now let's get back to selling the flowers. And this is where you go to sell your flowers. Right now, had we had picked flowers that were in our basket, it would allow us to turn those in for jelly beans. And this is how you get credit for them counting towards those laugh points. Now that we've started both fishing and gardening and we're on our way to getting all those laugh points, we can return back to the playground in Toontown Central and start that flippy task to get brand new gags that we can use in those battles. Look for my other videos with more tips and strategies for Toontown Rewritten. Thank you for watching and if you like my videos, please subscribe.